Right, good morning everyone. Now, um, I've got some shells here. They are genuine. They're not plastic or anything. And I had them a long time and I didn't really know what to do with them. And so I've thought of an idea. I actually saw it on, um, I think it was Pinterest originally. I might be mistaken. It could have been a YouTube video, I'm not sure, because I saw it a long time ago. And I just thought to myself, well, I've got some shells. And you can actually make a display. So I've used the lid of a coffee jar, a wooden disc, just to give it a step up. It might not, might not need it. Some tubing from your uh, kitchen roll. And then this was um, one of these dishes. See one of these little dishes? But then I broke it and I didn't want to throw it away. And I thought, Do you know what? Glue it together and then I'm going to cover it anyway. And I just thought I'll, I'll use this as a base. And then what I'm going to do is to decorate my Nautilus shell and put that on there. Paint it and decorate it. And it'll make a really nice display. So that's what I'm going to do, we think. I like that idea. First of all, we need to paint the shell, let that dry. And then, let me see, can I, is there anything I can poke in there? Just so I can stick it when it's drying. Yeah, there's a hole in the shell down there. Now, if I hang that on there to dry when I'm ready, and that can just slot into a box or something. So... I'm just going to make sure I've got a hole where I can hang it to dry. And I've got a box here at the side of me. And that will go in there to dry. So I'm going to do that shell. But, I, I mean, I could have used one of these. And you can use them any way up you like. I can knock out the centre of that. And then glue that in and use that as a... A decoration as well you have to think outside the box and these were just laying about and I have quite a few of them but it's the Nautilus one I did see somebody else do so originally it's not my idea but I don't mind sharing it with you okay so I'm gonna just gonna move the camera a little bit like that so that we can see what's in front of us right I'm gonna use some modeling clay some heavy gesso which is the ba Art Basics. And I've got this Peebo Studio Acrylics, which is a modelling paste. Uh, first of all, what I'm going to do is I need to make... I'll just put that out of the way. Because it's got a hole in, that's fantastic for me because I do need to make like a wire arm to rest my um, Nautilus on. So I've just got some wire... When I can find the end to it, here we are. I'm just taking enough off because I'm going to double it just to make it a little bit. I mean, the plaster's going to um, dry anyway. I roughly need it the same. Okay, we're just going to do it like that. Take it, bend the middle. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is just make sure it is the same length. Okay, so I have to make this into four. So I'm going to cut that again in the middle, roughly. Yep, so I've got four pieces. And then what I'm going to do, I need to twist it. So I'm just going to bend it back to start with and then twist. Now you might need another pair of pliers. So I've got hold of that and then I'm just going to twist it round itself. So I'm holding the four pieces flat. Twist that round there, hold this one flat, the opposite side, and continue to twist. 
You just need a nice tight twist in it. And then that leaves me with four arms. And these are about six inches long each. 24, 48 inches of wire should do you the what you need. So I'm just going to pull that one through. Okay, so we're going to separate the four pieces by doing that. And then we're going to fold these back in itself. Like that. We'll take the two strands and fold them back in themselves. Like that. You don't worry about the shape, you can do all of that later. That's just going to give the strength it needs. Like that. And I'm kind of like, I'm going to do it again. Now it really does give us some strength. Because I don't want long arms on it, I want short ones. Oh, they've got that. I hope this doesn't have, um, ruin my video because I've got the music on again. Because <sighs> YouTube go mad. They block your videos and everything if you uh, have music playing on that you haven't, you know, arranged with somebody else. Now, I'm keeping this bit flat. So I'm just twisting the whole thing while keeping that flat. twist them round as many times as you can we can bring that in that's not a problem squash that in like that so I'm going to twist this one now I don't want it to twist off, you see. You've got to be careful. That's it. And then we've just got this one left. So you're making like a little paddle on the end. Like that. I'm just going to shape that. They don't have to be exact or anything like that. And then what will happen is that will stand on there. We shall glue that in. And then that's going to support that. So first of all, what I need to do is um, to bring these arms up a little bit more. I'm going to hold them in and pull them up. Hold them in, pull them up. Now they're going to have to be for the long, this is for the width of the Nautilus and that's going to sit in there like that. See how it's supported. So, let's just twist that again. So that's going to sit on there, yeah, and that will support that when it's glued in. Right, that's fine. So this is all glued apart from me putting this in. Now, I'm not sure if I want to do this. Uh, I'm going to glue over it, just like that. And the glue won't come out then if it's pulled or dropped or anything. See the air coming out of it now? Be another one shortly, should imagine. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do is to prompt, uh, pop that in to that glue, but I can't leave it just like that. I'm going to have to put some more on top. And like I say, it's going to be glued. Uh, covered in clay. So I'm just going to let that cool down and then we can cover the whole thing in some clay. Now, the clay I've got is air dry clay. I'm 
I'm going to use this one quite a bit. And it's this one. Um, let's just have a look. Crayon Do and Mix. Uh, do, and, do and Dry, sorry. Modelling clay, it's called. So, I want to make sure that it's all nicely soft. So, I'm going to cut a fresh piece, I think. Yeah, so we're just going to warm it up and that's just squeezing it tight and passing it from hand to hand and that will warm the clay. Now I might make mine into a little scene, I don't know yet. It will depend on how we get on. It's not quite dry, it will be. So what I'm going to do is take a board and I'm not gluing it or anything because you won't need the glue once it sets. Yes, I like that. Okay. That's fine because that will glow in when it's done. Now that, um, I'm not, this will be just painted underneath. Oh no, I might put some in actually. That's a bit dry, that clay. Right, I'm just going to get some fresh clay. I will put a little bit up the stem. And uh, I don't think we're going to need much. Make sure you can see. Warm this clay up. How much? Oh, not that much. Cut this in half. You don't need much. And tuck that up there. And press that into there. Swing this around. Flatten it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it on this board, but I'm going to bring some out here. I don't know how long you've been watching because my camera went off. Sorry. Apologise. I'm going to just, I've done this and just moved it out and about spread it out where I want it and then all I'm going to do is this and we're going to do some shoots and then what I'm going to do is use the end of this just move it into like a, a ball and then like a cone 
and then what you do is pop that in the middle like that and then we're just gonna roll it into a tube we can go back and do that oh, well you can do that I'm gonna put that in and roll that out like that and then what we need to do let's just have a look at this best way to do it for me would be can you see to split it and split it that way you've got four sections I did have <laughs> come on I had four there you go see and then I'm just going to pop that on there push it down and smooth all of that in so I'll, I'll go around and finish that off and I'll do it now okay It's like that, that's how it's going to have to go. Sit like that, perfect. Right, we can leave this to dry and we can get on with, let me lay that flat, with painting this. Put this uh, plaster away. And a couple of bits I want to uh, paint. I did manage to find this shell, which I like. It's got all the wormy bits on as well. Or I think it was a shell on top of that. That's a glass one, but we can use it. It's the only small starfish I had. And then we've got these bead, uh, these um, shells. I do have some coming, but I'm not sure they'll arrive in time. So I'm just going to clean my tools off, put them away. Put them over there, and we're going to start off. Um, I do this with the gesso, and we're going to use the white heavy gesso.
Right, what we're going to do now is I've just made a fish. I need that to keep on the wire. That'll be fine. I can stand that bit down. So I'm just going to make a few fish like that because we don't want big ones, just small ones will do. Oops, a daisy. Make it into like a teardrop. And then what I'm going to do, where's my... I'm going to take a needle. Okay, and I'm just going to... Thin it out. <laughs> Thin it out. Thin it out, I should say. For these to go on, I'm going to do that and just flatten them out. Actually, what I could have done was just done it on the tails themselves, couldn't I? Oh, bum. Pull the wing open. Flatten. Flatten. Let me just brush this out. That's it. Where's my bit of wire? And that's the other one. I just need them up there overnight to dry and I can pop them on, glue them on or whatever. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of all the excess plaster, um, clay, whatever you want to call it. Right, and um, I think what I'm going to make is um, we need a little thing for the fish to hide in, don't we? So I'm just going to do them one of those, a little hideout. So I thought about it before, even though it's a little project, we can soon put quite a bit on it without doing too much. Oh, that's on. I've left that on there because that's where I want that shell. I'm going to have like a little hideout coming from here. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just putting the clay in my hand like this. It's just a ball of clay. And I'm going to do that. Let's bring a wall in. So I'm doing like half a circle basically. I'm just going to shape it. So I'm just going to add like a little shelter thing that's sticking out here. Okay. Where the um, fish or something might hide in there. So I'm going to do an octopus hideout.
Right, just so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Um, so I'm just going to put all the legs together. Like that. And that's going to sit in there. Now, tomorrow when it's dry or whenever, I might be able to just lift it out, paint it and slot it back in as is. Which will be good for me. Let me just move that out of the way. You've got to fit them in. And we're going to have them going like that. See? Like that. We need his head slotting in there. So I'll have to lift that up a little bit. Good job I had it. Plenty in it. And then we can bring that over like that. Now, we're just going to have to curl these. Like that. And we can have one. Like that and like that. And we're going to have this one. Over here, on there. We're going to have this one. Over here, like that. And we can have this one. Let's just swap that one over. This one over here. Like that. This one on the... Oopsie daisy. We can have it on here. Like that. And that one like that. And then this one we can twist and turn like that. See how he is? Oh, and he's shut away. <laughs> Look at that. And then all I have to do now is to make sure using this tool that they looks like they're joined together. But you know, if it comes out tomorrow um once it's dried you can have that poking over there. That one on there like that, that one curled over. We'll curl that one. Oh, that can stay wherever it wants to be. Yeah. Now, hang on, I'm going to crisscross these, I think. Like that. And then just make sure that these all look like they're one. That's it. Oh, I think that looks all right. We can have a little bit of a wee, you know, like seaweed here in between. Oh, that looks fine. That's great. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with that, to be honest. So I'm just going to now put his eyes in. My um, octopus is having eyes there because I want them there. Your octopus can have them where he wants. And I don't think I need to do any more. Once the fish are on and things like that, and I've got the um, like greenery to put on and, and whatnot, I think that's going to look fab. Really fab. And the fish are on. Oh, it's got a bit of um, clay there. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Perfect, in fact. I can get in there to paint all of that. That's not a problem. But I think he might just lift out tomorrow. I'm thrilled with these. I'm just going to do that a little bit with them. Open them up. Like 
I'll just put that on there. Yeah. He, he looks brill. Don't know if you can see that. There you go. I'll be back with part two.